Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is our 27th hidden figure. Tomorrow will be our last one, even though technically tomorrow is March 1st, because you guys know I got a day, a day behind. Um, but today is our 27th hidden figure, second to last. And today's hidden figure is Fridia the Cheetah Gibbs, who was born July 8th, 1963, and who is an American former professional martial artist, kickboxer, and boxer, who competed from 1975 to 2005. During her kickboxing career, she held ISKA, WKA, and WKF world titles. Before her kickboxing career, she won three world titles in Taekwondo and was an All-American in basketball and track. Gibbs made history when she became the first Black American female kickboxing world champion, earning the name the most dangerous woman in the world and becoming one of the most dominant champions of all time. Between 1994 and 1999, she was a three-time world kickboxing champion. Between 1986 and 1988, she was a three-time world taekwondo champion. And between 1995 and 2001, Gibbs, fighting as Lady Jack Johnson, was a world-class professional boxer. During her career, she amassed a record of 16 wins, 0 losses, and 15 KOs. Fredia Gibbs was born in Chester, Pennsylvania on July 8, 1963. Raised in Chester, right outside of Philadelphia, at the age of 10, she began her instruction in Jeet Kune Do Aikido fight style at Quiet Storm Martial Arts School, being trained by her uncle. She began learning martial arts to work on her self-confidence and self-esteem after being bullied. In high school, she was given the nickname The Cheetah due to her performance in track, with Chester High School eventually renaming their, ch their track team Chester's Cheetahs after Gibbs. In addition to running track, from the age of 12 until 1988, Gibbs also competed in basketball, earning all-county, all-state, and all-American honors. In 1981, she received dual scholarships in basketball and track to Temple University in Philadelphia, but withdrew in 1982 and switched to Cabrini University on a basketball scholarship while majoring in marketing. Gibbs excelled as an all-American for three consecutive years for basketball at Cabrini. After graduating, she was hired to play professional basketball for Germany in the European Women's Professional Basketball League. She led her team to its first European Cup. She continued to train and compete at Quiet Storm Martial Arts School throughout high school and college. In 1990, after moving to North Hollywood, California, Gibbs took up kickboxing at the Jet Kickboxing Training Center and Muay Thai kickboxing at the Muay Thai Academy of America in North Hollywood. Over the course of her career, she won three world titles in Taekwondo before beginning to kickbox professionally. She amassed a kickboxing record of 16-0-1 with 15 KOs. She won the Battle of the Masters pay-per-view show to win the World Championship in April 1994. This made Gibbs the first black American woman to win the World Kickboxing Championship for the International Sport Karate Association. This also earned her the nickname, the most dangerous woman in the world. During her professional kickboxing career, she held ISKA, WKA, and WKF world titles before retiring in 2003. Gibbs has also worked as an actress and sports model, being featured in Black Achievers, Black Belt Magazine, Inside Karate, Jet, LA Sentinel, Sports Illustrated for Women, and more. In 2000, she played the villain Tanya Terminator Tesario in the film Knockout. Her fight gear is displayed at the Sports Legend of Delaware County Museum, dedicated to preserving the history and memory of Delaware County sports legends. She wrote an autobiography, The Fredia Gibbs Story, about her life in 2016. Also in 2016, Gibbs was named one of the top 10 greatest African-American female athletes of all time for kickboxing. Gibbs continues to work as a trainer, motivational speaker, and mixed martial arts coach in California. She also teaches self-defense classes and seminars to women and children as part of a national organization called Be Brave, which provides free self-defense lessons for people to learn how to protect themselves. She also still serves as a judge for kickboxing and Muay Thai shows and competitions. In 2021, a seven-foot bronze statue was erected in her honor in front of the Boys and Girls Club of Chester, Pennsylvania. And for my quote, I have uh, an excerpt from a um, interview that she gave that will be included in the description box. Based on the learning curve you experienced, what advice would you give to girls who play sports in school? And she replied, stay focused on your dreams, be determined, stay on your journey and surround yourself with winners. 
people who have the same type of vision and mindset, people who are going to challenge you and help you take yourself to the next level. I wanna pour this into the young students while they are young. If I can do it, you can too. And that's Fridia the Cheetah Gibbs, the most dangerous woman alive, a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be links and information in the description box. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our very last hidden figure. Food for that as always. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.